Hi, and welcome to Fountain Pen Showdown. Today, we're going to be comparing two pens from the manufacturer Hong Dian. These pens, they were ordered off AliExpress and they were both about Australian dollars 23. So, similar price. They took about four weeks to arrive and since then I've been using them every day so I can get good experience with them and then talk through them with you. The first pen, this lovely green, this is the Hong Dian 525. Our second pen, this beautiful blue pen, this is the Hong Dian Black Forest series, The Light of Hope. Join me down on the mat and we'll talk through these two pens and compare them and then see which one comes out the winner. The first pen, it's the Hong Dian 525. Now just look at that beautiful green colour. As I turn it around, it's going all the way around the pen. We've got the steel coloured ends and we've got the steel coloured clip. The clip, for me, it's very stiff. But to be honest, you expect that because it's a new pen and I don't often use it in my shirt pocket to loosen it off. So it still feels very stiff when you're trying to use it. But it does sit nicely in my shirt pocket. Quick look at the nib. Again, we've got this beautiful steel nib with uh, the, the engraving on it. Nice little bit of detail. Spinning it over there, we've just got the plastic feed. The section, again, we're going for this silvered steel colour. It's slightly tapered, and I'll do the measurements in a little bit. Then we come into the green body. Opening it up, and we've got a cartridge converter. Obviously, I'm not going to go through inking it up now, because I've already got ink there. But beautiful pen, fairly good quality. The big difference with this one, what attracted me to it, it actually is the nib. So I don't know if you can see on the camera, the nib, it's what they call a small bent nib. I think some people refer to it as a food day nib. So it's just got that slightly different nib than I would usually go for. For the second pen, I'm going to fetch in my notepad because it will make it easier for you to actually see the pen. The problem with getting a, a dark blue pen and having a black background, it really hides the pen in the background. So here we are, the Hong Dian. Black Forest series, The Light of Hope. I love the name of this pen, The Light of Hope. I love the color of this pen. The blue is just so vibrant. I'm not sure if it comes over well on the uh, video, but there's little etchings here along the body, so you can actually feel it. You can, And if I rub my fingernail on it, you can hear it. The cap, it's got the blue going through with the clip, so look at that beautiful thing. And the cap, it's just all the same, all the way along from the body into the cap. So it's just like one big long tube. If I take off that cap, it reveals this gorgeous nib. Look at the blue on that nib. The blue's all the way through this pen, from the body, from the cap, from the trim, and right the way through to this fine nib. We have a section, again, it's it's got this little bit of a tapering. This lip here, I personally don't like this. When I write with it, I write with my fingers really low down and I can feel this digging into my finger. But that's a really minor thing. So the rest of the body, if we unscrew, again, we can see we've got a cartridge converter. Got some nice blue ink there. I'll discuss the ink in a little bit. Let's put that body back on and with this pen we've got this section here which allows the pen to post and then maintain that same straight line all the way through. To me it's just a gorgeous looking pen. So we've had a quick look at it. Let's take some measurements. So I'll fetch in my trusty rule. Let's get rid of that paper. So we'll start off with the 525. So the length of the 525, it's approximately 13.7 centimeters. So 
Not a, a big pen, but certainly not a small pocket pen. Uncapped, we come in at 12.1 centimeters. Posted, and so yes, it does post. So it's fairly secure when it's posted. And we come in at about 15.3 centimeters. So again, not too long. Width-wise, so we've got a little bit of tapering in the body. At its widest part, the body is one cent centimetre wide. And then that section, as I said, it tapers. It goes from 0.7 centimetres all the way up to one centimetre. With the cap, again, one centimetre. So let's fetch in that Light of Hope. So the Light of Hope. So capped, 13.7 centimetres, uncapped, a little bit smaller at 11.9 centimetres, posted, gives us about 16.8 centimetres. And then the width, the body at its widest here, it's one centimetre, same with the cap. The section, it's not as wide as the 525, so it starts off at about 0.75 and goes all the way up to about 0.9, so a little bit narrower. So we've now seen our measurements. Let's go and get some weight. I'm fetching in my trusty scales. Wait while it sets to zero. So the 525, well, that comes in at approximately 30 grams. The cap. That's approximately 11 grams for the light of hope. About 30 grams, that cat weighs about 11. So let's go and have a look at our writing samples. The paper I'm using is by Oxford and it uses the optic white paper. Nice fountain pen friendly paper. So we're going to start with the 525. So as I said, this one, it's the one with that bent nib. So this is a Hongdian 525. And it's got a small bent nib. The ink I'm using is Van Diemen's. And it's Apple Island Green. Helps if I can spell Island today. So I like this ink. It's not too dark. It's not too bright. Let's have a look at the dry times on this. So if I go straight away, we've got a really wet ink. After about five seconds, again, it's still fairly wet. Ten seconds, starting to dry a bit. Fifteen seconds, still got that wetness there. Now, lastly, we'll go for twenty seconds, and still we've got that wetness coming through. So this was immediate. This was five seconds, ten seconds, fifteen seconds, and twenty seconds. So a really wet pen with some really wet ink. So here we are now, we've got the Hongdian. Black Forest series. And it's the Light of Hope. In here, we have a fine nib. Today's ink is from Noodler. And it's never hurt her twice. I think this is a really nice ink that goes really well with this pen. The blues just look so nice together. So let's check out the wetness. So that's stretch where we expect that. Five seconds. 
10 seconds, 15 seconds, now 20 seconds. So again, it's quite a wet pen. If we quickly flip over the paper though, you aren't getting anything coming through. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to do two writing samples with these. The difference that with this is I'm going to actually move the microphone so it's closer to the paper. So hopefully you'll be able to hear the pen's writing that bit better. So we'll start off with the 525. I'm sorry if you can hear some background snoring. I've got a live studio audience today, also known as Kira the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and she's decided that she's going to snore today. So let's do our sample now with that Black Forest, The Light of Hope. The pens both write nice. They both write smooth. There's a little bit of noise. You, you can definitely feel the pen as you're writing, so they're not as smooth as some of the other pens that I've got. But it's still the nice writers. So let's start giving these pens some marks. So with the 525. Well, this pen, it's a nice, it's straightforward, but to be honest, it's not interesting. The shape is, well, it's like a standard shape. Yes, you've got a beautiful nib. You've got that bit of engraving to fetch a little bit of detail out to it. You've got that small bent nib. But in terms of looks, it doesn't jump out really. So I would give that a 7 out of 10. With the light of hope, well, just look at it. It's beautiful, certainly compared to the other one. You've got that little bit of texture in there. You've got the beautiful blue colouring. And that blue colouring... It goes through the whole pen, all the way right through to that gorgeous blue nib. In terms of looks alone, well, I just really, I love it. It's got everything that I'm looking for. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. Writing experience, well, as we saw in our writing samples, they both wrote nicely. Where the 525 lets me down is this is what they call a small bent nib. And the whole idea of it is you're meant to be able to get different line thicknesses depending on how you hold the pen. So if I hold it more flatter, I should get one line. If I hold it here, I should get a different line width. And if I hold it upright, it should give me yet another line width. I personally, I just don't see it. I'm not saying that it's not there, but I'm struggling to fetch that out. And that could just be the way that I'm using the pen. So I'm afraid for the 525, I can only give it a 6 out of 10. With the Light of Hope, writes nicely, writes smoothly. The ink comes out as I'm writing. I enjoy it. So yeah, that's an 8 out of 10. Ink flow. So again, looking here, the ink flow is not too bad. Where I'm going to hit the 525 again, it's because of that idea of being able to get different line thicknesses. I'm just not seeing it. So again, I have to only give that a 6 out of 10. Light of Hope. Again, it writes nice. I'm not seeing a lot of shading there. So unfortunately, I can only give that a 7 out of 10. Value for money. Well, they were both about 23 Australian dollars. So roughly the same price. 525. I'm going to give that maybe a 7 out of 10. Again, it's the nib which is making me a bit uncomfortable. Whereas the Light of Hope, well, you may have already noticed I really like this pen. So I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Well, that means we get a total score for each of these pens 
of 6.5 out of 10 for the 525 and 7.75 for the Light of Hope. So in terms of today's showdown, that blue pen, that Light of Hope, that comes out as the clear winner. So what do I think about these two pens? Well, the 525. I love the colour. Remember, I love green. I wish it was a screw cap rather than a pull on and off. One of the things I have found with this cap is after I've been pulling on and off for three or four times, the section actually starts to come loose on its own. So I'm a bit concerned that I'll end up pulling the top off rather than the bottom at times. The light of hope. Well, it's a bit on the thin side for me. That's the only thing I can really say. I like thicker pens. I find this is all right, like with my writing sample, for one or two sentences. But if I write more than that, what I'm finding is it's uncomfortable to write with. And that's a shame because it's a beautiful looking pen. The other thing I like about this pen, well, it's its name. It's the light of hope. Given the way that the world is currently going, we could all use that bit of hope. And I love the fact that this pen reminds you of that. It's telling you that we need to have some hope. So, of the two, my definite favourite is this one. It is this light of hope. I think it's just a slightly better writer. But the 525, I wouldn't throw it away. I wouldn't say no to it. It's going to keep going into my everyday carry rotation. It's a nice pen. Once you get over the few little things to do with the, the cap and the section unscrewing, I, I don't see if there's anything wrong with it. For 23 Australian dollars, you can't go wrong. So that was my comparison of the 525 and the Light of Hope. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Have you got one of these pens? Have you got a different Hondian pen? How do you rate them? Do you find that you're getting the same issues that I am? Do you like the same things that I do? Let me know below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. Join me again in a couple of weeks when I'm going to be comparing two Moonman M800 pens. One of them will have a bottle nib and the other one will have the standard Moonman nib. Let's go through them together and see which one comes out on top. Talk to you again soon.